Hey guys, Science here, and welcome back to another Borderlands 2 challenge guide. This time you'll be following me on my siren as we make our way over to the Southern Shelf Bay to do the I Can See Your Corpse From Here challenge. All this challenge requires is that you find all four telescopes in the Southern Shelf Bay area, and coincidentally, as I'll show you on my map here, all four can be found in the Blackburn Cove area. If you're unfamiliar with the map, this is the large bandit encampment to the east. For the low price of $20, this challenge can be yours, and what I mean is that you have to pay $5 at each scope. Obviously, this isn't much money, so the only real hard part is finding the scopes. Now, if you're here doing the quest to kill Midgemong, both the first and last scopes that I'll cover are really easy to find as they're on the main path. If you tend to just blow through the quests and not do much exploring like I do, you'll easily miss the other two scopes. And, even while I was looking for the scopes, I walked right by one of them. After gunning your way through the first group of bully monks, head over the lever-activated bridge, up the stairs, and immediately on your right, you'll see the first scope. Here, I indicate exactly where you can find it on the map. Target it with your cursor and press E to spend $5 for a scenic view of the area, and there you have number one. Take a moment to enjoy the majestic view since the game gives you no choice, and then it's time to be on our way. The remaining three scopes are found in the middle of the bandit encampment, and you're going to have to shoot your way through to get to them. Not far into the encampment, you'll take a right and head across a series of boats and planks. Again, here there are several bandits and marauders that you'll have to shoot your way through to get to the next two scopes. Carefully tread across this makeshift bridge of rubble until you reach the two boats here. They're pretty easily identifiable by the fact that they're larger than most of the other boats and the whole filled cloth tarps overhead. Here, again, I'll indicate on my map exactly where you can find this scope. Once again, you'll pay a measly $5 for another scenic view that you can't escape, and there you have it, number two. Once you finally get control of your character back, you'll finish your way down this path, blast your way through a few more bandits, and make your way to that big metal boat you see there. The path will take you straight to a ladder to climb, so you don't have to do any kind of fancy jumping or maneuvering, but again, there will be more bandits on the boat for you to kill. Getting to the scope is pretty straightforward at this point, and you'll see a good reference point here is a large weapon crate behind it, and the scope itself is in plain view. Here again, I'll show you exactly where it can be found on the map, because hey, why not? Throw away another $5, and there you have number 3. You'll also see here that I actually get the challenge on the third scope because I had already hit the fourth one, but don't worry because of course I'm still going to show you where it's at. Jump back down to the main deck of the boat and head back over towards where the ladder was, but instead of heading to the ladder, swing it right and take a running jump off this slope here. If you don't take a running jump, or at least jump for that matter, you're going to land in the water and die. This will put you right on track to head where you need to be for the last scope. Clear out any bandits you need to and head up the stairs to the right. Once you reach the top, you'll see there are multiple ways to get up to the scope as I opt for the ladder as Midgemon runs by guns blazing, but we'll ignore him as we head up the ramp and you see the scope right there. You'll see this large room here is a good reference to know where you're at, and inside there will be two badass marauder spawns as well as a couple of vending machines. Right outside of this room is where the scope's at, and there you have it, number four. Hopefully this guide was helpful and easy to follow. If it was, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me, I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or challenge guide requests, be sure to leave those in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to you ASAP. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for updates on challenge guide releases, as well as our up and coming Borderlands 2 Let's Play series. Just want to give a big uh, thanks to everybody who watched and commented or thumbs up on the previous videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you're into Let's Play series at all, if you like watching those, we've got several more on the channels to check out. Check the links above. we got Facebook and Twitter, if that's your thing. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.